Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo. And today we'll be taking a look at Samsung Smart Switch here at the end of 2021, just to see if there's any type of improvements, faster transfer speed, and so on and so forth. So if you just purchased a Samsung Galaxy device, and let's say that you went through the very beginning pages where you're setting up, putting in Gmail, Samsung account, things like that, and maybe you didn't push everything over just yet, during those main pages at the beginning when you're signing in, it does ask you if you want to use Samsung Smart Switch or transfer your data. But if you did miss that, how you're able to find it on your brand new phone is going inside of your settings on the very top right hand side. Then you're going to scroll all the way down to where it says accounts and backup. And then underneath the category of Samsung Smart Switch, you have two options, bring data from old device or external storage transfer. So we're going to choose this one here because we're bringing it from our older device. And then you just usually have to click on the agree or accept in terms of, you know, allowing it to read the permissions of your, your messages, take a look at your gallery, phone logs, things like that. So it is able to transfer. And then this is where you want to go over here and you want to receive that data. And you just want to name the source. So we are pulling it from a Samsung Galaxy phone. And we will be doing this through cable just because I feel this to be a little bit more solid connection and also possibly a, a little bit quicker. So now all you have to do is just plug in with that attached or the included cable that came inside of the box of your brand new phone. Then you're gonna plug it into your other device. And once it finds it, it will give you an option over here possibly. And so I'm gonna do this one here called Samsung Smart Switch. And we're gonna go to just once, just in case. You go to agree. Here is that, that screen where it allows for the following permissions and you hit on allow. This is the one that we will be sending the data. And now that's pretty much about it. And from here you choose what you want to transfer over. So right now it's basically reading all of the data on this phone. So these next few steps is only gonna be dependent on how much data you have on your phone, how much videos, how many pictures, how many text messages, things like that. So everything could be different from, you know, person to person. So in terms of what I was able to transfer over, it's going to be right around 29 gigs of data, which will take about 11 minutes. So going through here, I do want to transfer all of these. You know, there's a lot of messages inside of there. Now, anytime that you see this arrow, that just means that you have more options of what you're able to transfer over. You know, you can do it for the last two years. You can do it for the last one year. If really everything that's important to you is only from the last 30 days, then you can do that. And that's the option that I will be choosing. Now, I don't really have to transfer over my images and videos. And the reason why is because I have a, a Western digital my cloud at home it's four terabytes of cloud storage that just sits in this room here so everything is backed up every single day so I don't need to transfer these over and also too it's gonna feel pretty nice to start a little fresh in one area which is gonna be your gallery but it is sometimes pretty important to keep some of the calls contacts as well as your messages so now that you've done that you can head over into transfer you hit on copy and it's basically going to transfer and copy some of your accounts now because it is something you know that is protected with either your fingerprint or your pin or a password you just want to put in one of those methods here and then now it's going to copy the account so it's going to pull over some of my gmails you're going to see notifications popping up asking me if i'm logging in things like that so it's going to make it super super simple to transfer over i can't remember for sure if that was something that was able to go on you know maybe one or two years ago but I believe it was this transfer and maybe the last transfer I did that it was transferring all of those accounts and it's actually pretty nice. Now, because I took away some of those photos and videos, you can see it was basically cut in half. So instead of it being 11 minutes, it is now five. Now for me personally, I do like to see the screen. I like to see everything kind of go on. It will dim it down so it won't take as much battery for you. So I guess at this point in the video, if you guys are brand new here at the channel, Jimmy is promo. You appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and maybe if you've learned something new in this video, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. Now that everything is done, you just hit close. Go back to home screen. Now, when you're on your home page, you scroll down, you're gonna notice that it's stating organizing your transferred data. So once this is done and complete, I'm gonna show you exactly what it is doing. So as of right now, you can't really tell anything. Everything is set up the exact same way as before. You can't even see other new 
applications or anything like that that it needs to download. Uh, and also too, maybe if you go inside of your messages, at least the messages did move over, um, but there's a lot of stuff that it's actually doing in the background. So we're gonna take a look back here in about five minutes. So here we are five minutes later and you can see that it has mimicked the phone that it was transferring from. Uh, you know, from all the way from the background to setting up my my weather widget, all the applications are now slowly kind of piling on. This one is Google Messages here. It's gray because it's still downloading. When you take a look at the very top, you can see some of the applications that are still downloading from this phone over here. So basically, you know, everything was moved over and it's just really nice to see just how easy and simple and quick all of this is, is going. And also too, it's going to take a little bit less time uh, just because I'm shooting this video. If you're doing Doing this you're not shooting a video then you're not doing setups and things like that so we're going to go inside of here samsung smart switch it transferred over over a little over 3200 items and 10.56 gigs now if you want to take a look a little bit more in depth at some of the stuff that you did transfer you can take a look at those i'm just going to hit on next so that's pretty much it for today's video. Now, if you did transfer, you know, a little bit more than what I did, I would highly suggest going inside your gallery, just making sure that the gallery is also sitting inside of there uh, or some of the photos are starting to roll on in. And then you want to go inside of your messages, make sure that the messages are there. Same thing with your phone. You can go inside of there, make sure that your recent phone calls and logs are sitting there as well. And that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys have appreciated it. It's super simple if you've never used it. And also too, you don't have to think of it as only just transferring from an old phone to a new phone. You can also think of it that if you have another phone that has a bunch of music and you only want to transfer music from one phone to the next phone, this is one of the nice, easy ways you can do that and only simply select on music. So that is it for today's video. If you guys appreciated this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.